Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Nuta, The Crochet World. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please, please, please subscribe to my channel. Like, share and comment on my videos. And today we're going to do this beautiful pattern for a pouch. And it is a big pouch. And for this particular project, I've used my 100% cotton yarn. And for this one, I've used a 3mm of the hook. Here it is. 3mm of the hook. Now, for this one, I've used around 80 to 100 grams of my yarn. And here it is. The pattern looks like this. Here it is. And that's it. So, let's begin. So, here it is. We'll start with a magic circle. So, for the magic circle, just have your yarn and put your yarn around your fingers like this. Make an axe here and have your the second strain of yarn at the back. Here it is just like this and now insert your this hook into your this magic circle like this so your first strain of yarn should be above your hook and your the second strain of yarn should be below your hook and just grab your the second strain of yarn through your this first strain of yarn and turn your work and here it is this is your magic circle you got your this magic circle and now here we're gonna chain up two so it's one and two here it is now i'm not going to count this chain two as a stitch i've just made this chain two to reach up to this height so do not count this chain two as any stitch now here into our this magic circle for our round number one we're going to have 16 double crochets one six so for that yarn over insert your hook into this magic circle and grab your yarn you're going to have three loops on your hook yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops and this is your first stitch we're going to count this as our first stitch as our first double crochet and now keep on having your double crochets into our this magic circle and we're going to have 16 double crochets here in total so that's one two three four five and last one sixteenth double crochet so here it is your work will look like this you got your the 16 double crochets and I'm just gonna pull my this loose end a little tight and we'll make a tight circle here so here it is you got your this first 16 double crochets and now i'm gonna go to this first stitch so remember we got over this chain two here one and two we are not gonna count this chain two as our first stitch this is our first stitch our first double crochet is our first stitch so go to this first stitch insert your hook into this first stitch and grab your yarn and have one slip stitch here and that's how we're gonna finish our this round round number one with our 16 double crochets here it is and now for our round number Two, we're gonna chain up two one and two again we are not gonna count this chain two as stitch we got this chain two only to reach up to this height so we're not gonna count this chain two as any stitch now yarn over and go to that stitch again where you have made your this slip stitch i'm gonna go to that same stitch your first stitch of your round number one insert your hook into that same stitch and grab your yarn and here we're gonna have one double crochet this is going to be our first stitch and now chain one again yarn over and go to that same stitch your first stitch of your round number one and insert your hook and grab your yarn and have one double crochet here so here we're going to have one double crochet chain one and one double crochet into over this first stitch remember this chain two is not a stitch we are not going to count this chain two as a stitch so this is our first stitch double crochet chain one and a double crochet and now we're going to go to this next stitch this is our second stitch of our round number one and here yarn over and we're going to have a front post double crochet so for that insert your hook from the front and grab your this stitch like this and grab your yarn so you just yarn over and grab your yarn through your this first stitch and here you're gonna have three loops on your hook now yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops yarn over and spool your yarn through two loops and this is your front post double crochet and we're gonna repeat our this pattern all the way on our this 
second round so again we are going to go to this next stitch and here yarn over insert your hook into this next stitch and have one double crochet here chain one yarn over go to that same stitch again and have one more double crochet here like this yarn over go to this next stitch now here we're going to have our front post double crochet so for that yarn over go to that stitch insert your hook like this and grab a yarn and have one double crochet and this is your front post double crochet again we're going to repeat our pattern so again we're going to go to this next stitch yarn over go to this next stitch and here we're going to have one double crochet chain one and one double crochet and we will go to this next stitch and here we're going to have one front post double crochet Here it is. Now repeat this pattern. One double crochet, chain one, and one double crochet, and then one front post double crochet. Repeat this pattern for eight times on this round number two. So here we repeated our pattern for about three times, and now we're going to repeat our pattern for another five times. So in total, you're going to repeat this pattern for eight times, and I'm going to meet you at the end here. So here it is. I've repeated my pattern for about seven times and for the last time I'm here. So I'm going to go to this next stitch and here I'm going to have one double crochet, chain one and one double crochet into that same stitch. And yarn over and go to the go. this last stitch, your next stitch and have one front post double crochet. And this is the end of your round number two. And we're going to go to this first stitch and we will insert our hook into this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn remember this chain two is not a stitch we will go to this first double crochet and grab a yarn and have one slip stitch here and this is the end of your round number two and here it is it looks like this now for your round number three we will go to this chain one space so here we have our slip stitch we will go to this chain one space and we will insert our hook into this chain one space and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one extra slip stitch here so have one extra slip stitch here just to reach into this chain one space here it is and now into this chain one space here we're gonna have chain two one and two this chain two is not a stitch we got this chain two only to reach up to this height and now for our first stitch yarn over go to this chain one space insert your hook and grab a yarn and have one double crochet yarn over Again, go to that same chain one space, insert your hook and grab a yarn and have another double crochet here. So here, have your this two double crochets and now chain one. Now, we will go to this chain one space again and we're going to have another two double crochets here. So for that, yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space and have your one double crochet and your second double crochet into that same chain one space. So into over this chain one space, we got over this two double crochets, chain one and two double crochets. And now we're going to skip over this next stitch. We will not work on this next stitch. We will go to the stitch after that. And here we got over this front post double crochet. So here we're going to have one front post double crochet. So for that, yarn over and insert your hook into your, this front post double crochet from your round number two. And insert your hook like this and grab a yarn and have one front post double crochet. So on top of your this front post double crochet, have a front post double crochet. Here it is. And now we're going to repeat our this pattern for another seven times. In total, we're going to repeat over this pattern for eight times. So again, we will skip over this next double crochet and we will go to this chain one space directly. Yarn over and have two double crochets chain one and two double crochets into this chain one space so insert your hook and have your one double crochet your two double crochet chain one have another two double crochets here into the same chain one space so it's one and two skip here this next double crochet and go to this front post double crochet and here again have a front post double crochet here it is again skip your this next double crochet go to this chain one space directly and have two double crochets 
one and two chain one and have another two double crochets into this same chain one space skip this next double crochet go to this front post double crochet and have one front post double crochet and now keep on repeating this pattern we're going to repeat this pattern in total for about eight times we have already repeated our pattern for three times so repeat your pattern for next five times and i'm going to meet you at the end here so here it is i'm at the end of my this round number three and i've repeated my pattern for about seven times and this is my pattern for eight time last time and here into this chain one space i got my this double crochet chain one and a double crochet and i'm gonna skip my this next double crochet and i will go to this front post double crochet and here i'm gonna have a front post double crochet so yarn over and have one front post double crochet and here it is now we will go to this first stitch now this is our first stitch remember this chain two is not our first stitch this double crochet is our first stitch we will go to this double crochet and we'll insert our hook and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have a slip stitch here and this is the end of your round number three and here it is it looks like this and now for your round number four we will go to this next stitch insert your hook into this next stitch grab the yarn and have one slip stitch go to this chain one space insert your hook grab yarn and have one slip stitch so here for your round number four we are going to have two extra slip stitches just to reach up to this chain one space and now here into this chain one space we're going to have chain two one and two now again this chain two is not of a stitch we are not going to count this chain two as a stitch this is just to reach up to this height and now for our first stitch yarn over insert your hook into this chain one space and grab a yarn and have one double crochet here yarn over go to this chain one space and have one double crochet here yarn over go to this chain one space and have one double crochet here so have three double crochets here now chain one and have another three double crochets into this same chain one space so have you this chain one yarn over and have another three double crochets here so it's one two and three here it is enough we're gonna skip our next two stitches so one and two we're gonna skip over this next two double crochets and we will go to this front post double crochet so go to this front post double crochet and here we're gonna have another two front post double crochets into this front post double crochet crochet so for that yarn over go to this front post double crochet insert your hook like this and grab a yarn and have one double front post double crochet yarn over and go to that same stitch again and again insert your hook like this and grab a yarn and have another front post double crochet so have two front post double crochet on top of this front post double crochet of your round number three here it is and now we're going to repeat our this pattern for another seven times in total we're going to repeat our pattern for eight times so here it is we're going to skip over this next two stitches one and two we're going to skip over this next two double crochets and we will go directly into this chain one space and here into this chain one space we're going to have three double crochets chain one and three double crochets so for that yarn over and go to this chain one space and have your three double crochets so that is one two and three chain one and have another three double crochets here so it's one two and three here now skip your next two double crochets next two stitches and go to this front post double crochet and have two front post double crochet here so it's one and two now keep on repeating this pattern for another six times in total we're going to repeat this pattern for eight times and i'm going to meet you at the end and here it is i'm at the end of my this round round number four and i got my this three double crochets chain one and three double crochets for the last time and here i'm going to skip my this next two double crochets next two stitches and i'm going to go to this front post double crochet and here into this front post double crochet i'm going to have two front post double crochet sets one and two here it is my last two front post double 
crochets and now i'm gonna go to this first stitch first double crochet remember not on this chain two space on this first stitch this one and i'm gonna insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one slip stitch and this is the end of our round number four now for your round number five you're gonna chain up two one and two and again this chain two is not a stitch we're not gonna count this chain two as a stitch and we will go to this first stitch again and here into this first stitch we're gonna have one double crochet chain one and a one double crochet so for that yarn over go to this first stitch the same stitch where you have made your the slip stitch insert your hook into this first stitch of your round number four and have one double crochet here chain one and one more double crochet here like this now we're gonna skip over this next stitch we will not work on this next stitch we will go to this stitch after that on this third double crochet and here on this third double crochet we're gonna have one front post double crochet so for that yarn over and insert your hook into this third stitch and have one front post double crochet here now skip your this chain one and go to this next double crochet and here again you're gonna have one front post double crochet so insert your hook like this and grab a yarn and have one front post double crochet here it is now skip your this next stitch and go to the stitch after that and here on this stitch we're gonna have one double crochet chain one and one double crochet like this and we will be here now on top of this two front post double crochets we're gonna have one front post double crochet on each stitch so again yarn over go to this first front post double crochet and have one front post double crochet on top of it yarn over go to this next stitch next front post double crochet and here again you're gonna have one front post double crochet and here it is and now we are gonna repeat our this pattern all the way around for another seven times in total we're going to repeat our this pattern for eight times so here it is again so we are here we will go to this next stitch go to this next stitch and have one double crochet here chain one and have one double crochet into that same stitch here skip your this next stitch and into your this stitch after that have one front post double crochet skip your this chain one and go to this next double crochet and have one front post double crochet here skip your this next stitch and into the stitch after that have one double crochet chain one and one more double crochet again go to this two front post double crochets and here have one front post double crochet on each one front post double crochet each front post double crochet so here it is have one front post double crochet on each front post double crochet and now repeat this pattern all the way around repeat this pattern for eight times we have already repeated this pattern for two times so just repeat that for another six times and i'm gonna meet you at the end and here it is i'm at the end of my this round round number five i got my this last two front post double crochets here and now i'm gonna go to this first double crochet remember not on this chain two space on this first double crochet and i will insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one slip stitch here and this is how we're gonna finish over this round round number five now for your round number six we're gonna go to this chain one space so insert your hook into this chain one space and grab a yarn and have one slip stitch here like this chain two one and two again this chain two is not a stitch we got this chain two just to reach up to this height and now into this chain one space have two double crochets it's one and two and chain one and have another two double crochets into the same chain one space one and two here it is now skip your this next double crochet and go to this two double crochets two front post double crochets and here we're gonna have one front post double crochet on each stitch so for that have this one front post double crochet go to this next one and have one front post double crochet 
here it is and now we're going to repeat our this pattern for next 16 times so this is your pattern and we're going to repeat this pattern for next 16 times sorry next 15 times in total we're going to repeat this pattern for 16 times so again skip it this next double crochet and go to this chain one space and here have two double crochets so it's one and two chain one and have another two double crochets here so it's one and two here now skip here this next double crochet and on top of this two double crochets two front post double crochets have one front post double crochet on each stitch so it's one and two here it is again we're going to repeat our pattern for the third time so skip here this next double crochet go to this chain one space have two double crochets here it's one and two chain one and have another two double crochets into that same chain one space so it's one and two and now skip here this next double crochet and go to this two front post double crochets and here you're going to have one front post double crochet on each stitch so it's one and two now keep on repeating this pattern and remember you're going to repeat this pattern for 16 times in total we already have repeated our pattern for three times so next 13 times you're going to repeat this pattern and i'm going to meet you at the end of this round round number six and here it is i'm at the end of my round number six and now here i got my this last two front post double crochets and i'm going to go to this my first stitch and I will insert my hook into my this first double crochet and we'll grab the yarn and we'll make a slip stitch. And this is the end of my round number six. And it looks like this. And now for your round number seven, go to this next stitch. We will go to this next stitch and we'll insert our hook and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one slip stitch here. And now we will go to this chain one space. Now insert your hook into this chain one space and grab the yarn and have one slip stitch here so have two extra slip stitches here for your round number seven and here into this chain one space we're going to have chain two so just chain up chain two this one this chain two is not your stitch so we are not going to count this as a stitch and now into this chain one space we're going to have two double crochets chain one and a two double crochet so for that yarn over insert your hook and have one double crochet this is your first stitch of your round number seven and have another double crochet here chain one and have another two double crochets here so it's one and two here it is now we're gonna skip our next two stitches one and two we're gonna skip over this next two stitches and we will go to this two front post double crochets and here again we're gonna have one front post double crochet on each stitch so yarn over go to this next stitch and have one front post double crochet here so it's one and two again we're gonna skip over this next two stitches and we will directly go to this chain one space and into this chain one space we're gonna have two double crochets one and two chain one and have another two double crochets here so it's one and two again we're gonna skip our next two stitches one and two and we will go to this Two front post double crochets and here we're gonna have one front post double crochet on each stitch so it's one and two here it is so we're gonna repeat our this this pattern for another 16 times on our this round round number seven so here it is we repeated our pattern for two times repeat your pattern for another 14 times in total you're going to repeat your this pattern for 16 times and i'm going to meet you at the end here on my round number seven and here it is at the end of my round number seven it looks like this and here i got my this last two front post double crochets and i'm going to go to this first stitch remember this is my first stitch my first double crochet and i'm going to insert my hook into my this first stitch and we'll grab the yarn and we'll have one slip stitch and this is the end of my round number seven and now we're going to repeat over this round number seven until our round number 22 
So keep on repeating your pattern. Keep on repeating your round number seven. And I'm going to meet you after that. And here it is. After my round number 22, it looks like this. Yeah. And now we're going to cut our yarn. So for that, have your last slip stitch. And we're going to cut our yarn. And we will secure our this last stitch. Have your needle here. And for this last stitch, I'm going to go to this next stitch here and I will insert my needle like this and I will go to this last work stitch. I will insert my needle in between these two loops here and I will take out my this needle from the back and it will be a nicely kneaded stitch and it will be like this it looks like this and here it is now uh, put your all these loose ends in and i'm gonna meet you after that um uh, this one and this one so just put this all ends in and i'm gonna meet you after that you can have a knot here to secure your this yarn and just hide your ends in and i'm gonna meet you after that here it is and now for our drawstring just have your yarn and we'll start with a slip knot and we're going to chain up 100 here. So chain up 100, 1, 0, 0. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 99 and 100. So here it is. Got my this 100 chains here and here we're going to cut our yarn. So just cut your yarn and secure your this last stitch. And here it is. Now, I'm going to take needle. And here, we will go to this third row. So here it is. It's one, two, and three. So here, we will go to this third row from the top. And just insert your this needle like this. And keep on stretching at this chains. And here it is. Just go like this. Make sure you are working on this third row. this and you can simply just stretch out this chains and here it is your pouch is ready it's done and for this ends just take this ends and you can trim the edges of this edge and here it is simply Put a knot here and here it is your pouch is ready and here it is the pouch is ready and i hope you like my today's tutorial if you have like please like share and comment on my videos and please 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 subscribe to my channel and i will see you into the next video till then bye